could choose to leave a purposeful, meaningful life where you put down, what do you want to accomplish this year? What do you want to accomplish um, uh, next week? So that makes a very powerful way again. You do, and you become what you think, and you become what you do. And it's within the power of each one of us to be able to, uh, to drive those. Very appreciative of blessings in our life. I think I have many strengths. I can list probably 50. I can probably list 50 things I wish were different. When I was playing soccer, I wish I was faster. I was very skilled, but I was not very fast. My father used to have a stuttering problem. I'm not as bad as he was, but certainly there was a way to say, look, I wish I had a radio voice or TV voice. So I can list many issues, but I don't spend a second thinking about those issues to improve them, but you focus on your strengths and you move forward. And it's amazing how you can go from the fishbowl from one bowl to the other, if you focus on things that work well and play to your strengths. Our family always comes first. I mean, three sons, ages 25, 20, 28, 30, wife of 33 years. I do, do not think they'll ever disagree with any actions you provided. Second, I'm very supportive of people and organizations associated with. I mean, that's Macedonia, every school I've been to, my friends, they're in the back of, of, the, of, the, uh, of this room here. But the view of not to be able to look for experience provides such a wonderful support for the concept of uh, well-being. Again, you have no one to answer but yourself. So if you never forget your friends, regardless of what you do today, or your schools, or your friends, and always when you leave a room, ask yourself, was the, your participation be a downer, energy sapper? What is the result of your impact there was a positive force multiplier. Uh, increasingly philanthropic, we've done well as a family. So increasingly we're becoming more philanthropic. And again, I have a number of uh, areas where we'll be actually, what is the public schools in Chicago, which in many ways are 10 times worse than public schools in uh, Macedonia, Macedonia, uh, health clinics. And I'll reflect a bit on an ongoing basis. So again, this is my chart. Question for you, do you have a chart for yourself? And do you measure? And this is the, uh, the quote. I mean, I've heard it 12 years ago. People ask, Mike, what motivates you? I mean, I can spend years and decades taking meaning of life. I saw this quote and captured my heart. Unfortunately, this boy had AIDS. He died four years afterwards, but this is a quote he made the AIDS conference in Durban, South Africa back in 2001. And do all you can with what you have and the time you have in the place you are. And I have this post that my bathroom windows every morning when I wake up, brush my teeth every, every night before I go back, brush my teeth, I look at it. It's in the office. And again, you, I mean, you don't have to issue for anyone. If I ever had a perfect day, no. And I think it would be below 50%. It gives you a chance to reflect daily. So what are your commitments? Are you happy with them? If not, how do you move it forward? So back to the whole concept, because there was not an irony, and when the, when the concept of well-being is the view to hopefully relate to you that if you want to have well-being, you have to define what's important to you. Not say because it's politically correct or because your girlfriend or boyfriend or husband may be impressed, that you really believe, write it down, and start acting for it. I have two other pages, but I don't think that I'll spend more than a, just a second. Um, this is more on mentoring in your career. you are going to be blessed with a uh, wonderful career at this point in time, uh, but uh, I've always needed a home in my career. Always took the hardest jobs. I even when first went to the United States, selling encyclopedias. I mean, first I spoke zero English. I mean, one summer I knocked on probably 5,000 doors. I worked in door. I sold two sets of encyclopedias in, in 70 days. I worked great learning experience. I spent the summers working in factories. Most of my friends went vacationing, but they gave you the, the idea, the dignity of the work. Many people do work in manual jobs. I was very good at it. I knew I did not want to work in a factory as a, as a profession, but always was able to find a job. If it's a low level job, what can you learn? And for you to excel, to be able to, to, be able to get the next job. 
I'll pick, have the results speak for, for themselves. I mean, I'll give you advice. If you spend your time complaining to people, how you're the best person to Steve Jobs or Gates or whomever is your um, uh, hero, and somehow your results are not being recognized, I mean, I'll ask you to think twice. Is it maybe you, you have the inflated view of your results? I can tell you, I mean, all over the world, nationally included, there's such a demand for people that can actually deliver, uh, deliver results. You could be very unfortunate or one of the few that actually does great results. You're not being recognized. Maybe you should look to another company to work at. But I've always put the pressure on myself. I have higher expectations on myself than anyone else. And if you do the best you can to get to the results, I'm so confident that maybe it'll be old school. The results will be recognized, even in places like this, only in developing countries. And I'm sure Nina is dying to hire overachievers that are not being recognized in their companies. And there's, there's many Ninas, not as many as we need. There's many Ninas you can hear from Igor Popovsky, what he's doing with General Electric. I mean, I don't want to start naming names, so it's going to take the rest of the night. Um, to a uh, mentor, and to also become a mentee. I mean, being, I probably have 40 mentees today. I've been mentoring since age 25, and also have mentors. It's amazing when people start asking you questions. How, why? In the process, you providing feedback back to the individuals, how much you grow as part of the process. Last one, give it to you all, and if you do, you'll have very few regrets. And some of my challenges were that some encyclopedias, or at what Norton and I knew at the end, we, did for, I mean, we took all the actions, but we thought for, for the right reason, and there's never any um, regrets. How to grow your business, I'll skip it, and I get back to the first page. This is not a how-to for yourself. And this is a great reminder for me, the companies I chair today, by starting with being a personal foundation. What's important to you, and if it is, what are your goals currently, and how are you doing this? If you're a manager, can you explain your management style? Do you like it? Do you ever get feedback from you? Do you have a strategy how you be successful? If you don't have one, I mean, you may end up with a strategy you're showing you to, which is nowhere. Do you have a history of accomplishments? If not, I mean, you can read many books, but this is a pretty good quote from the best management guru I would argue of all time. If not this one, take another one. Communicate to us. If you're going to quit smoking, you're going to tell people, look, I'm going to quit smoking. So people are going to come and smell at your door, is my, is my breaking his pledge. Same thing is true for your business goals, for your ambitions, for your, uh, for your business, uh, business targets. The last one, self-evaluation. <laughs> Maybe I'm extreme, doing it daily four or five times, but how do you reflect? And again, I would propose to this group, it's great to see this many people on a, on a weeknight, interested in your careers, if you find a process to manage and uh, discipline yourself, you'll be a much more inspired person for yourself. And if you feel good about yourself, people around you will be much happier to have you around. Your companies will be much more successful. And hopefully, at least in Macedonia, we'll go from 18% to at least 50%, and then maybe we can look for a, a bigger number after that. So thank you for being here. It's always great to have you.